Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, today, it is absolutely beautiful. I believe it's supposed to reach 80 degrees today. Uh, I want to have some fun. We're going to fire up the tractor. I got to go to my neighbor's and uh, plow a garden for him. He called and asked if I'd come plow up his uh, little garden for him, which I do every year. It's super fun. And uh, I also need to plow up mine. So I figured I'd plow his, plow mine. And also, we're coming in to this shed war competition. Uh, it, it's coming really, really soon. The shed wars is just about to start. And I have to get my measurements for all the places I'm going to be growing on my farm and for all the things I'm going to be growing on my farm this year. So stick around. I'm going to go around, uh, plow the two gardens, and we're going to get a measurement of all the things I'll be growing this year as far as uh, our muscadines, our garden, our raised beds, uh, just all over, we're just going to be rambling around all over the farm today. So stick around, stick around. <laughs> what do you say, girl? Hmm? Stick around, we're going to have some fun today, right? Let's go do mine. Well, that was super fun. <laughs> I love driving my tractor. It is so much fun. All right. Well, this is going to be the challenge this year, which I think I got it figured out. As you can see, our chicken coop is right there. We still have a bunch out here in the field with us. All the way down there on the end, <laughs> which is fine right now. That's fine. They can get out here and scratch and have fun because I just tore all this up and I know they're looking for worms and anything else they can find to eat. But, uh, this is where my garden is going to be this year. This is going to be where I grow all my vegetables this year. I can't wait because last year I didn't hardly have a garden. Uh, I don't think I even had a garden. <laughs> because I was on night shift, I was tired all the time. I just didn't have time to get out there and work at gardens. But this year I'm on day shift. It's going to be a whole different thing. And I'm in shed wars. So I want to make sure that I help support my teammates uh, for the upcoming shed wars. This is going to be my battlegrounds. We're going to get out and measure my area where I'm going to be growing today. Uh, this is going to be my garden area. I got two things I have to worry about with the garden. Well, I got to worry about the chickens. That's the first thing is I got to worry about my chickens because the coop's right there and I let them out every day. Uh, so I'm going to take care of the chickens and I got to take care of the deer because those woods are slap loaded with deer. Uh, I'm not going to have this big of a garden also. I'm just going to measure out a nice area for a garden, and I think I'm going to fence it in like I did in my last garden. I think I'm just going to fence it in, keep the chickens and the deer out, uh, and just have a nice, small little garden. But I wanted to plow the whole thing because uh, I didn't want it to get overgrown, for one thing. Uh, I like to deer plot this. I like to food plot it for the uh, upcoming deer season. But uh, I'm going to measure out my little area, so stick around. I'm going to measure out my little area, and we're going to walk around and see... Uh, where else I'll be growing this year and all the other things I'm going to be growing for shed wars. Um, I am super excited, super excited. Let's see about how big our garden is going to be. All right. I think it's going to be about a 20 by 50 foot garden. That ought to be big enough. Uh, and if I want anything extra, I can add to it. 
Uh, but for right now, I'm keeping it simple. I'm basically going to grow okra, corn, uh, some squash, zucchini, uh, just, just a handful of stuff, really. I mostly got to focus on my grapes this year uh, because I always feel like I dropped the ball on my grapes. So I'm going to try, try to turn that around this year and really focus a lot on my grapes. But I'm still going to concentrate on my garden as well. But I'm going to grow some easy, what I think is hopefully some easy stuff. Uh, but about a 20 by 50 is what we're going to call our garden. All right. We'll head over here to the, to the musket irons. We got some pear trees. I got a couple of pear trees. I'm going to add them in there because they should produce this year. But honestly, the deer get them before we do. These pear trees here, I got one there and one here. They usually produce pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to, I'm going to try to stay on top of them this year because like I say, I'm in shed wars. Shed wars, I can't wait. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get all the possible weight I can. So if you're on my team, I'm going to try to work my hardest to make sure we win shed wars. Let's get a measurement. All right, I'm still in the process of pruning. I gotta get out here in the morning and prune one, two, three more rows and I'll be done. I have six rows here and 20 some odd rows. I got 260 something plants out in a big pasture. We'll, we'll uh, measure that here in just a second. All right, so we are, I know there's 36 plants in this area. I have 36 plants, and these are older plants. They're four or five year old plants, so they will produce heavily. They will produce really, really well. We are 98. So 98, 55. Uh, I'm going to call that 50 because I was a couple of feet off on that backside. I'm going to say 90. I'm going to say 90. I'm going to say 100 by 50. So this is a 100 by 50 section of muscadines. As you can see, these have been pruned. These first three rows, they've been pruned. i got to get those last three. Look at them. They're so pretty. Ooh, they're going to put on some grapes. Okay. We're also going to call the lake. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be weighing all my fish out of the lake this year, if I can remember. <laughs> but we just locked, uh, loaded it down last year in April, last April. Uh, so it's coming up on a year with a thousand channel cats. So we're really excited to see how well they do. Uh, I'll try to keep the weights of the channel cats. We're also going to do meat birds. I do meat birds every year. I kept saying, what do you say, Willie? Yeah, again, I keep saying I'm going to do meat birds every year. We do meat birds every year. Um, no, I keep saying I'm going to do 100 this year, but I think we're only going to do 50. I think we're only going to do 50. 100 is a lot of birds. <laughs> okay, speaking of chickens, we'll be uh, weighing our eggs as well. I'm always curious how many eggs we get. There was one year where we started keeping count of all our eggs and man it was adding up so quick and we did it for about a month and it just sort of fizzled out look at our blueberries they're getting loaded with bees look at the bees Ooh, it's sunny and the blooms are all over the blueberries okay not sure how many blueberries we'll get <laughs> because the birds always get them but we're gonna stay on top of them this year we're going to stay. I see I got a bunch of peach blooms going. Uh, those are our fruit salad trees. We're going to see how they do too. I have fruit trees all over the place. The whole place is just covered in fruit trees. Thanks to Ison's Nursery. You guys know I plug Ison's Nursery every single chance I get. All right. I know the sun is blasting, but this is the big vineyard. And it goes way up to the woods and then way down to the woods. Uh, we're going to walk this off, see what we get. I think there's like 260 something plants, 269 plants, 260, 263 plants, I believe is what it is. But anyway, these guys are going to produce this year too. So we're going to get tons of grapes. Let's walk it off. Well, it's 165 by 300. I still got a lot of work to do out there. I got irrigation hanging down. Got all my pruning and stuff done. It's almost time to start fertilizing. They're about ready to start growing. They're almost ready. All right, here's the fruit salad trees I was telling you about. They've been uh, 
grafted apricot, plum, and peach. Uh, they're doing pretty good. That one in the center is really loading up. It's got a lot of pink blooms in it. This one has a lot of pink blooms in it. But uh, just doesn't ever do all that well. This one has whites on it, so I think this is more of a plum. But they just don't ever, they'll, they'll get going and they'll make uh, about quarter size fruit and then they'll dwindle off, get eat up. and They just don't ever do all that well. Uh, and I talked to a lot of people around here, there's actually a peach farm right down the street. And he tells me I have to spray them and I just, I just can't afford to spray another darn plant. I'm already spending all my money on the muscadines. All right, well the blackberries are not going to count this year. I got 60 here. And 60 over here, I'm still building trellises for. They're not going to count this year for the simple fact they won't produce this year. Uh, they produce on the second year. I just put them in this, this past winter or this just a couple months ago. I just put them in. I got 60 and 60. And uh, they're doing great. They're starting to leaf out. They're really doing good. I got to get on these real quick, building trellises and mulching real quick. Uh, I'll probably do that next week. But they're not uh, ready to produce yet. Next will be our bean tunnel. Now we're definitely gonna load this thing up with beans both sides and they're 25 foot long. So that's gonna be 50 feet of beans. They'll come up and over these tunnels both ways and they'll hang the beans down. It just, it's really pretty to get in here and pick your beans uh, during the summer. It's so much fun. I'll be putting these in here real soon, but uh, all the way down will just be beans hanging down. They're gonna be nice. I think we're gonna do the uh, Blue Lake pole beans. I believe that's what I'm doing. All right, and I have four raised beds. Uh, I wanted to start these hopefully this weekend. Carrots, uh, we're going to put some cabbage because I love cabbage. I want to put some cabbage. Uh, this one's probably going to be uh, a lot of jalapeno peppers because we have some big ideas this year about making a lot of cowboy candy. We only made a few jars last year and we ate through that stuff so fast. If you've never made cowboy candy, look it up we will definitely be making some videos on it so look it up it is fantastic made with jalapeno peppers and this one i don't have a clue what i'm gonna put in i'm gonna fill it up and we'll figure out what we're gonna put in there so i know it's gonna be jalapenos cabbage carrots not exactly sure if you guys have any suggestions let me know i gotta get some soil to put in there uh i meant to say too over there by the bean tunnel uh, I've seen all my little elderberry cuttings over there. We have a lot of elderberries too that should come up this year I should get some elderberries from that. Those are all my elderberry cuttings. I did the other day I need to get out here and water them tonight. They're looking great And these are some roses I did All right. Well, these are the girls Jesse, he's still in the house. He's lazy. He don't ever come out unless it's time to eat <laughs> But these are the girls the pigs won't count this year either because we're not processing pigs this year We're breeding these two girls out with another uh, big Durot we have. He's in the house. He never comes out, like I said, unless it's time to eat. Uh, but we're going to breed these out and make some little piglets. Then we'll start working on some meat pigs, which will probably be the end of winter. We'll probably have some to process in the winter. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe coming into spring next year. But we're trying to get our pig population up uh, by having some little piglets. I'm going to give, uh, I think we're going to keep two, give a couple to James my buddy and then uh sell some i may keep one or two uh to grow out so we can get some more meat because we're running low of pork but anyway guys thank you so much this is the battlefield this is where it's gonna take place here at kimpo farm <laughs> i hope you guys are on my team i hope i have a bunch of you guys on my team that are subscribers to my channel uh, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel do me a favor click that subscribe button i appreciate it Leave me a comment sec in the comment section below. I hope you guys are in Shed Wars. Not exactly sure when this video is going to come out. It's going to be coming out close to the deadline, uh, which is March 5th, to get in this thing. Uh, and I, don't, I think they said they're not going to make any exceptions like they did last year as far as if you're not in by March 5th or not. But, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what everybody grows. I, I just cannot wait. I can't wait. This is going to be a lot of fun. Like I say, this is going to get me off my butt and grow a lot more. And, especially all the things that's going on in the world today. We all need to be getting off our butts and growing more. But thank you guys so much again. I love you to death, and we will see you on the next video.